Hey guys, um, welcome to Monday Math. Um, uh, your test, you guys did awesome on your test. I just want to say that. Uh, I'm not going to go over it a lot because I don't want to waste time. Um, but a lot of people did a lot of really smart thinking. I saw so many good ideas and I'm really impressed with where you guys are at the moment. Um, we are going to continue our working with rate and we are going to move back into real life situations. But these are going to be pretty classic word problems. Um, and for each of these word problems, um, you're going to use a table to try to both predict the future and to make some guess about the past using our knowledge of rate. Um, and so I'm going to do an example problem here, um, which is going to look a lot like all the problems you were doing on your homework. So please get a pencil and notebook out to follow along. Okay, so the example problem I have um, is that I go to the store, and let's say I go to Costco, um, and I buy a bunch of ice cream. Um, this is actually pretty realistic because I try not to do word problems that are like, she bought 200 watermelon. I like think about the real world and try to make them based on the real world. So realistically, at Costco, I'm buying a large amount of ice cream. So I go to Costco. You don't have to write this part down. I, I'll tell you when to start writing. Um, and buy some ice cream. And because it's quarantine and we're not supposed to go outside a lot, I'm buying more than usual. Um, and when I get home, um, I eat my ice cream. Um, and two weeks in, I check how much ice cream I have. So after two weeks, I have six containers of ice cream left. Okay, that's still a lot of ice cream. I'm like not worried at all that I'm going to run out of ice cream. I'm like not buying things from the store. Okay, so... Um, I keep eating ice cream at, like, a pretty consistent rate. I eat a lot of ice cream, guys. Um, and, um, I continue to eat. And four weeks later, so I know I've, it was, like, four weeks ago that I went to store. So after four weeks, I check my refrigerator again. And at this point, I have two things of, oh, after four weeks, I have two containers of ice cream left. Okay. And this is when I start to get worried. I'm like, I don't want to run out of ice cream. It's pretty much the most important meal of the day. Um, and I, so I need to start thinking about like, how much ice cream do I eat um, on a regular basis? When will I need to go buy more ice cream? And how much should I buy? So I'm going to make a table because my one of my favorite ways of using rate is a table. I'd actually say it is my favorite way um, is to think about this these things as a table. Okay, so at this point, I want you to copy down because this is what you are going to be doing on your homework. And by doing it along with me and making sure that you are paying enough attention that you can actually have the things written down on your paper as well, will help you get, like, remember this for your thing. So I'm going to make a table. And I'm going to compare weeks to ice cream. And this is containers of ice cream. And so my week zero is going to be the week that I bought ice cream, the start of my ice cream pile. And I don't actually know how much ice cream. I bought nothing in here. I don't remember. I like threw a bunch of stuff in my, in my car and like strolled to the aisle. So that's a mystery. I have week one, week two, week three, and week four. And as a reminder, you will only start seeing patterns on this column if this column is also in a pattern. So I don't want to miss anything here. So I don't know anything for one, so I'm going to leave it blank. But I do know two, because after two weeks, I have six containers. 
So after two weeks, I have six. And the other piece of information I know is that after four weeks, I have two containers. Okay, and we're gonna assume right now that I am eating ice cream at a consistent rate. So I'm gonna go with a pencil because I might mess up this part. This part, you're gonna kind of use trial and error. There are mathematical ways to figure this out, and what those are the that's what I want you to start trying to figure out. But the way we find mathematical patterns is we use some trial and error, and we then look for the patterns in the, what we figured out. So I'm gonna, I know that between six and two, I'm gonna try a number. Uh, what if I put five? And so what I'm trying to find is a number that when I drop, because I'm going the same amount of weeks down, so I should have eaten the same amount of ice cream each week. So here, the difference between these two is one, but the difference between these two is three. That's not okay. Like, it didn't, for some reason, miraculously leak three, I decided to eat a ton of ice cream. I'm not inviting people over, I'm not, nothing's changing at my house. They should have a consistent amount of ice cream that I eat every week. Again, this isn't, like, totally real life, but pretty real life. I actually did this based on how much ice cream I do eat, um, so it's kind of real life. Okay, so that doesn't work. So, I'm gonna try a different number. I know I need to get it closer to six, so I'm gonna go up by one, I'm gonna put four in here. And so again, I'm gonna try here. And so the difference between six and four is two. And the difference between four and two is also two. So we have this information, and now we can work our way up. Because if this distance is two, we want something that has the distance to each time. So I'm looking for, so this would be, eight, and then again, two, to give me ten. I guess I didn't really give you the purpose of what we're doing. We were trying to figure out how much ice cream I bought originally. So you were going to be asked three, you were going to be given a bunch of different scenarios that kind of follow the same trend. We start with a bunch of stuff, we're slowly losing things, and you need to figure out where we start and when we run out. And so the first part of that process is to figure out the rate. So this is the question is how fast am I eating ice cream? I'll switch back. So now that I have a pattern, so the first question that I'm asking on your homework is how fast? And this one is how fast am I eating ice cream? But some of them is like, how fast am I driving? How fast am I biking? How fast are people drinking soda? Like there's a bunch of different questions. And so it's the same thing, blank per blank. That's our rate language. So this one would be, I'm thinking per one week. And how much ice cream am I eating every week? This one goes from 10. In week one, I go down two. In week two, I go down six. In week six, I go down four. And in week four, I go down, or week three, I go down to two. So I'm eating two per week. And the next thing I will, I'm going to ask in your homework is where did we start? I want to make a guess about the past. So my start is always here in case these weren't bright enough for you to see. My start is always here. You start at zero. When you start a race, you haven't run any miles yet. So you're starting at zero miles. When, you, when you're born, you are zero days old. So the start is at zero. And so the next question, so the question I'm going to ask in your homework is where did I start? And so based on this table, I was able to figure out that I started at 10 containers. And the next question is where do I end? Like kind of where do I run out? 
At what point will I need to go buy more ice cream? And so I don't buy enough things here. And in all the tables on your homework, I give you example tables to kind of use, but they might not be long enough. I, you know, I copy and paste a lot. Um, so like if you need to add another column in, add another column in. So, or not column, row. So I know I didn't get to zero at this point. So, but I do know since I only lose two each time, this one me at zero. And my weeks will be at five. So I ended in the end five weeks. So I'm ending when this is at zero. When did I run out of ice cream? And just figure out both of those problems. You have to use this rate. You have to have this rate down because otherwise you can't make a prediction. The world does work in patterns. And so we need to find those patterns. And again, this would be slightly fuzzy, but we can use a general trend because it's real life, but we can use a general trend. And in math, we kind of simplify real life to find the pattern so that we can make the best predictions possible. Um, okay, so um, this is the, these are the questions I'm gonna ask. You are gonna have to fill out a table. You are going to have to figure out how fast, so thinking about the rate, we're going to think about where it started, so using that rate to work backwards in time. And we're going to think about that end, so using that rate to work forwards in time. These are word problems, but they are based in real life, so hopefully they're as real life as I can make things in this world right now. Um, I will maybe try to do another, like, math lab at home. Here, let's ask a question right now to whether you'd like that. Um, <laughs> and... Um, and just try to make this more real life, but maybe you guys really like just doing notebook work and getting your math done with in a simple, straightforward way. So um, hopefully this is clear. Um, you have some math to do, um, and good luck. The office hours today are from noon to 1.30 with challenge math from 2 to, two to 3 o'clock. Um, if you have any questions, you guys know my number, um, which is 971-350-8258. Um, feel free to text or call me at any point if you have any questions, okay? Um, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Stay happy and healthy.